A small explosion of fireworks is loud enough to scare animals and startle humans. So imagine what would happen if we were able to hear the fusion reactions of our sun. It is safe to say it would be quite loud. Luckily, space does not provide a medium for sound waves to travel like our atmosphere here on Earth. Therefore, sound does not exist in space. How then did NASA release audio of the sounds of space? This is Dynamic Science and we are going to find out just how NASA did it right now. The sound waves that we hear are translations of electromagnetic waves that were emitted from objects such as stars and planets into the vastness of space. In August 2012, two probes were sent to the Van Allen radiation belt that surrounds Earth to collect data. This zone is in the outer region of Earth's atmosphere and consists of two main donut-shaped belts. Scientists discovered that electromagnetic waves called plasma waves lace the space around Earth and are compiled of energetically charged particles from solar winds such as electrons and protons. These particles are stopped and trapped there by Earth's magnetic field, protecting Earth's atmosphere from destruction. The rhythmic dissonance generated by these plasma waves are inaudible to human ears, but were easily captured by the highly sensitive detectors of these probes. Scientists were then able to translate these fluctuating electromagnetic waves into sound waves that occur within the frequency range audible to humans. In modern times, this radiation from space is easily captured by powerful radio telescopes and make it possible for us to hear the song of a comet chimes of stars being born or dying, and a choir of a quasar eating the heart of a galaxy. So sit back and relax, it's time to allow the universe to play with your eardrums. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel for your weekly dose of dynamic science.